C++ assignment operators. There are so many operators, assignment operators in C++ we can access. So, here is the list of them. First one is the equal to, that is the assignment operator, plus equal to. A plus equal to 10 means A is equal to A plus 10. So, equal to operators you can access in this way, you can use in this way C is equal to A plus B. Plus equal to means C plus equal to A means C is equal to C plus A. Similarly, for minus equal to you can get C minus equal to A means C is equal to C minus A. We are having this star equal to, we have got the description and explanation for you. And this is our slash equal to, here is the explanation description and the required example for you that is C, C slash equal to A means C is equal to C slash A means division A. So, here we are having this percentage equal to percentage means remainder of the division. Here we are having left shift equal to. So, let me explain this one. So, C left shift equal to 2 means C is equal to C left shift 2. That means the value in C will be shifted towards the left hand side for 2 bits position and the resultant value will be assigned to C once again. So, that is the my right shift equal to there is an explanation and example we are having ampersand equal to that means we are doing the logical ending that is a bitwise ending bitwise ending equal to. So, we are having this one. So, there is a bitwise operator ampersand and there is our ZOR equal to that is the upper caret we had a discussion earlier in our earlier videos on this bitwise operation. So, that is ZOR equal to that is here we are having OR equal to we are having the descriptive respective description and the example with us you can easily follow them. Let us go for one program. So, here this value of A is equal to 21 the value of C is uninitialized. So, if we assign A to C then obviously C will get 21. So, I am going to print the value of C here. So, C plus equal to A that means C is equal to C plus A the value of C is getting printed. In this way we have done this one that is C minus equal to A, C star equal to A, C slash equal to A, C percentage equal to A, C left shift for two places, left shift for two bits position and then the value will be assigned to C that is C is equal to C left shift operator 2. So, that is the utility of that and now the value of C has got printed for rest of them. In this way also we have used this ZOR equal to, we have used this OR equal to and so on. I think for the better understanding let us type this code on our editor and compile it and run it. So, here is a practical demonstration for you where you will be getting this outputs uh, when the program will be compiled and run. So, please watch the demonstration now. Let us explain the execution of this program now. Here we are having this INT A is equal to 21. INT C which is uninitialized, C is equal to A. So, let me execute my code so that we can we can get the idea that how the outputs are obtaining. So, I am executing my code now. So, this is the output screen we are getting. So, also I am putting this notepad side by side to do any rough work. Okay. INT A is equal to 21 and C is defined but uninitialized, C is equal to A and the value of C has got printed. So, C is has got printed as 21, C is plus equal to A that means C is equal to C plus A. So, C is having value 21, A is having value 21. So, 21 plus 21, 42 will be the new content for C and that has got printed here. Now, C minus equal to A, so 42 minus 21. So, C is equal to C minus A. So, 42 minus 21. So, 21 will be the new value for C. So, 21 is coming for the new value for C. Now, C star equal to A. So, now C is having the value 21 and A is also having the value 21. So, 21 into 21 the multiplication is taking place and that is 441. So, in this way you are getting this 441. So, now C slash equal to A that means C is equal to C by A. So, that means uh, 21 squared by 21. So, that is 441 by 21 is equal to 21 will be the new value for C and yes the value of C has got printed as 21. 
now c is equal to 200 and c percentage a percentage is equal to a that means c is equal to c percentage a that means the value of uh, 21 this particular value 20, uh, 200 rather will be divided by 21 and the remainder what whatever is getting obtained and that will be assigned to c so the value of c has become 11 in that case after doing this remainder operation so c there is a left shift equal to 2 so that means that we are going to shift the value of c towards the left hand side for 2 bits plus so we know that 2 bits plus left shift means 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 will be multiplied in the resultant value for c so 11 into 4 so the output will be 44 in that case so now again we are doing the right shift for 2 pluses and as we are doing the right shift for 2 bit pluses so that 44 has to be divided by 2 to the power of 2 and that is 2 to the power of 2 means 4 so again we are getting back this 11 now c and 2 so 11 means we know that if you write 11 in uh, byte form and that is 8 4 1 2 and 1 so it is 11 is nothing but 8 plus 2 plus 1 so that's why I placed 8 that means 1 I placed in the position of 8 so 0 I have placed in the position of 4 and in the position of 2 and 1 I have placed 1 and 1 so now if it is getting ended with the value of 2 so that is 0 0 1 0 then I'm going to get after doing this ending I shall be getting this 2 as a result so which is nothing but 2 so that's why after doing this and operation we are getting this 2 and then we are doing this zoring with 2 so we are doing this zoring so 2 zot 2 always it will be 0 because similar bits zor will produce the output 0 in that case so if we do the zoring between these two if we do the zor then obviously the output will be 0 so similarly I'm getting this value C is equal to 0 and in the last we are doing this ordering with 2 so with this result if we do the ordering then obviously the output will be 2 again so in this way the output has become 2 so in this way we have explained that how the outputs are coming and the same outputs will be obtained in case of GNU++ if you go on compiling our program in GNU++ so in this way we have explained our code uh, with the proper uh, tracing that how the values are getting generated thanks for watching this video